everyone. I am Dream, Miss Atlanta Thick Dream from MissAtlantaThickDream.com. I am known as Thick Dream, Yvette Johnson on your Facebook, MS period Atlanta Thick Dream on Instagram, and on Twitter I am ATL underscore Thick Dream. Hello, hello, I'm the love goddess too, the sex experts, life strategy coach, confidence coach, okay, I am here, but today I'm going to share with you on this uh, vlog here on YouTube my It's Not Easy Being Dream uh, post with you. So it's Wednesday, the 16th, 2016, midweek. I got some real talk with you, baby. Um, I'm kind of getting some laryngitis because of this pollen that is accumulating around here. I got Ricola going on, my, my throat kind of feeling kind of scratchy, and I'm just tired a little bit. And I have my tea in front of me, so I didn't do my vlog on my Facebook this morning. I'm taking a sick day, but I had to talk to my YouTubers. Yes, I had to talk to y'all, let y'all know what's really going on in the wonderful world of Atlanta and uh, Miss Atlantic Dream. So, as you guys know, I don't know if you know this or not. If you're new, just following me. And uh, thank you for viewing, by the way. I have been a web diva, web model for almost nine years, okay? And I have been involved in an unconventional and non-traditional lifestyle as an artist, Okay. And I, 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 I'm single and I date, right, 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 right. Okay, you know that. Well, here's the thing. I want to talk about threesomes. Yeah, threesomes have to come up because here in Atlanta, you know, that's where I stay. I stay here in Atlanta in, in, in the burbs, all right? But still, I, I still deal with the, the things that, deal, um, that go on in the city. Well, in Atlanta, men think a certain way, all right? Not all of them. And the women here, we do have a certain, you know, independence or whatever about ourselves, most of us. And guys tend to think that, one, she's bisexual, she's down for whatever. If she is open-minded or if she's, you know, doing her own thing, if you will, and not really uh, ready for a full, committed relationship, one-on-one, -on -one, monogamous for the most part, okay? So men just think that women here, they're just, they're just easy peasy and, and they're going to, you know, lick some coochie and, and do threesomes all day, every day or whenever he wants it to be, you know, popping off between the two of you and, and her. Well, I have to say, as Dream, Miss Atlantic Dream, um, for my own personal, and I have to put this disclaimer out here to the universe and let it be known worldwide. Miss Atlantic Dream does not participate in threesomes in her personal life like that, okay? All right? As a sacred mate, a sacred feminine, okay, presence here, I do not participate in threesomes. I haven't participated with my husband. I haven't participated with them, any boyfriend or whatever that I've had that I really care for, you know, like real heavy right here. No. That's not one of my uh, things to do, ladies. It's not, and it's not something I'm going to give with someone that I am primarily dealing with. That's just a personal preference of mine. You guys have yours, okay? You don't like non-smokers. You don't like drinkers. Well, I don't share my main, okay? I don't. Uh, when I say share, meaning we could be polyamorous. We're dating other people. We're seeing other people. But for me and him, and, and when we're together in the bedroom bringing on another woman, no. That's just me. I have to let it be known. This is real. This is not part of the fantasy. This is real. I'm letting you guys know. And why? Why? I feel as if if I'm already open-minded to certain sexual practices and I have a certain skill set, you know, <laughs> as your, your girlfriend here, I don't think that I need to open up my bedroom to another party. Now, that's just me. Some of my poly goddesses and friends, they do swing, Okay. But the thing is that they live in these, these loving relationships, husband and wife, and the husband has a girlfriend, and then the wife dates, okay? They have an alternative lifestyle. That's fine. But every now and then, they may swing and they may not. It's not a must. It's not something that they necessarily do. I think for me um, to swing in an existing, a really loving relationship, um, that's not something I want to deal with just because of I'm always giving myself to my fans and you know to my audience to my consumers i like a little normalcy in my my intimate life okay because you get to do you all out here all day long all, all you want okay your girl like to be service and I, and I just recently told someone this that i was meant to receive and to give because i was created to be a gift to others so i in my life okay outside of dream I like to be adorned, worship, and men do worship me. 
And I, I say worship, meaning I give to them, they give to me, all of our needs are met. It's not 50-50, it's 100%. And if it is not, guess what? Bye-bye. I don't deal with it, okay? I had to go through this process. You guys seen me grow here almost nine years on the internet. I had to go through that process because I was in uh, relationships dealing with men where they weren't coming and giving all that they needed to give. Okay, in the bedroom and, and honoring me in a certain way. But I had to make a vow and a commitment to myself as a sacred feminine, as a sacred mate, that I'm not settling for that. Okay, why would I settle for mediocre? Because here, here's the thing from a psychological standpoint, ladies and gentlemen, a threesome will not, okay, help the other person who is apprehensive of going into, you know, that type of arrangement. If she, if she or he is apprehensive, it's not going to work. From a psychological standpoint, it's only going to serve the ego of the person that is initiating it, okay? Remember that. That is why I like all of our needs being met. All the egos, all the pleasures, all the yummy things. I want all of those met. If you cannot get that right here up and in, you can go over there and get your needs met. Plain and simple. Now, I've been accused of, ah, I don't see you being a polyamorous woman. Ah, you know that. Well, I'm not saying that I'm just totally and completely poly because here's the thing. One thing about poly, you still date one-on-one -on -one and you guys may just be dealing with each other, you know, but you're dealing unconventionally, okay? That means I can call on you to come do this, this and that, and you can count on me for this, this and that. And I'm not talking not about just sexual, okay? That's how my polyamory works for me. We're not going out to trapeze or whatever and swinging with each other, no. Now, we may go out to a party together where they're partaking in that or whatever. We might do our thing and come back home, whatever. To get, yeah, like that. I've had things in the past, and this is going a little bit, you know, way, way back in my past, to where I've had incidents um, at parties that I incorporated my man, and he thought, just because I was in this lifestyle, that we automatically were swingers. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. I'm not in the lifestyle like that. <laughs> like that. No. Just because I am Miss Atlanta Thick Dream and I am open and I am I'm firm in my sexuality and who I am as a woman and I'm good with that and I wave my sexuality, you know, flag high, does not mean that I like pussy. Does not mean that I want to share you with my friend. Now, I, I got to confess. Ooh, ooh, confession. Yes, I've had... Uh, homie lover friends or stunt digs from, you know, business things that I have done that with. I've played with, you know, the stunt dick or the boy toy or whatever with a friend. I did that. I hooked the sisters up. Okay. I've done that. But for this stage, this phase of my life right now, the goddess is not sharing nothing. Okay. I'm not sure you go out and get your own pussy. Okay. Same thing with me and my, my husband who had an open marriage, guys. He did his dealings. He had his dating with his partners. He did that. I was aware. He knew that I had a boyfriend or whatever. He knew. That's how our poly worked around here. Okay? That's what works for us. When you are open and honest with individuals, there's no deception. Okay? So, I just wanted to cover all the bases. Of hopefully, hopefully, I've had covered everything. My words are stumbling coming out just because it's like, we got to go over this topic again. And at first I thought when it came to me, you know, when it came to, to my, my, my desk, okay, my inbox, virtually, when, when the BS came to me, it was like, hmm, is it because of what I do? But no, when I consulted with a lady who was not in the lifestyle, and I consulted with my, my friend, my guy friend here, he says, no, some guys, they automatically just assume and just try you to see how far you would go sexually, okay? And then my gal pal was saying, oh, girl, my man tried me with that too. Oh, really? So with it, I'm asking you guys, is it just the Atlanta area that we are getting tried by our mates? And like Alexa said, uh, what is it? They, they, they automatically think that we're going to be the pussy ass in the mouth. I'm not going to be your pussy ass in your mouth, Okay. And you ain't even licking and worshiping all this. Nah, bruh. No baby case. Sorry. Mm -mm. It don't go like that here. 
Okay, reciprocity. Yes, I'm a healer. I advocate on sex, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we are 100% over in these parts right here. Right here, okay? So when I made the vow in that sacred matrimony, that marriage that I had that I shared with you guys, and I became ordained, okay, and to advocate on certain things, it was because I had to remain on my soapbox, on my my foundation, whatever you want to call it, main, remain true to me. So I don't revert and go back to the fuckery. Because when I'm getting text messages, I can have it <laughs> this way, every way, any type of man, okay? Any type, race, whatever. I don't have to serve my ego in yours too by allowing another you know, energy, another body to come in my bedroom. No, you can deal with that. When we are done, you know, worshiping and dealing with each other over here, you can go do your thing. I bow to you. That's how I do. But I am not opposed to having a monogamous relationship. And ladies, if you are coming from an alternative lifestyle and you are flirting with uh, going back into monogamous, okay, that's cool. But let it be known because a brother will immediately think, oh, she's a cam model, she's stripped, she's an da 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 she does, she's done this. They will hold that against you. But let it be known what you want. Don't settle, okay? Don't conform for nothing. Because if you are not being honored and you were, all of your needs are not being met, your mind, your body, and your soul, why are you even doing it? It's not for your higher good. Because mm. we go do this, this here threesome. Am I going to get that, that uh, Maserati that I want? That's on my vision board? No. No. He's just going to get his rocks off. She going to get her little ego stroked. And that's it. For me, and maybe because of what I've done here for almost nine years on the internet, I'm on a different level than other people. Maybe, maybe not. I just don't do those things. And threesomes for me, and I, I've said this in plenty of my messages and my consults to individuals who uh, hit me up for sex advice, intimacy, you know, consultations. I've said this. Most of the time when you are dealing with a threesome, one is overrated, okay? And you are servicing self. Do you have the stamina to make sure that she, mm -hmm, him, them, that, and the third are all pleased. Everybody walks out of there, you know, job well done. <laughs> yeah, man, we, we did that. Yes, it's a team effort. It's a team event, okay? Do you have the energy, the stamina to do that? Think about that. And then to deal with the after effects. Because I've consulted with couples who have had a threesome in their marriage and there was no foundation the foundation was shaky and the man all he could think about the whole time he's in this marriage with his wife the fact that he wants to do the threesome again who not the fact that he's a great father she's a great wife and they are raising these excellent kids together they have the american dream no he think about how he gonna get his dick wet once again with her sheila over there how are we gonna do that high freak level stuff See, once you raise the bar, that bar, that expectation is going to be there. So be careful, fellas and ladies, with granting these wishes of doing things on a higher sexual gratification type level, okay? Be careful because you don't want to expose your marriage into different things that you're not prepared, you know, to handle. So think long, hard, and strong, as I like to say, before you go into the realm of threesomes. Me, preferably, I have to let it be known, like, right then and there. And I, and I asked a little sweetie pie also for his advice. And I said, if you had an opportunity to have me as yours, would you want to share me with a woman or with a man? He said, wait, wait, wait where does this come from? Like, and I, I'm just asking in general, you know, because here it is. And, and I, he said, no, why? And, you know, his answer to me was, and it was the most awesome, intelligent answer. And it's so sexy. And someone told me you're a, what's a sapo sexual being? Because I like intelligence. That's so sexy to me, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's very sexy to me. So his response, it was a turn on. So he said, why are you asking this, right? And I said, uh, because when you are highly, when you're charged highly sexually, we get misconstrued. And we do. Because people automatically think she sucks, she fuck, you know? And she'll bend it over, do a whoop-de-whoop, -whoop, and, you know, whatever it is. She's been a leg back behind her head, and 
she's on cam and she'll show people her skills and she talks openly about sex okay and she'll share with her audience certain things that she will go for anything well sweetheart i'm here to tell you that is a myth okay that is not true Mm, (laughs) boo-boo that is not true just because she is open sexually to certain conversations and she's partaking in certain things does not mean that she's going to allow a threesome, okay, to go down in her personal. Uh-huh. Being honest, keeping it real. But it's funny because immediately because of either the, the programming of, of our mates and our, how society puts things and how society sees people like me, sensational ladies and this sensational man that I was speaking with, they automatically think, Either you a hoe, you a slut, you down for whatever, you to jump off, you this, this, and that. No, baby. No. I just know what I want and I know how to be pleased. And I know where to get it when I need it without begging. Ah! <laughs> yeah. And if I want it on a consistent basis, I shouldn't have to compromise. That's the word. Compromise. Or no, 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 back up. Compromise. Yeah, you can compromise just a tad. But conform. To the needs of this person. If it's something I'm not with and it's feeling kind of some type of way, ladies, don't go for it. Don't. Just say no. Stand in and believe in, and you, that nothing is going to come about for me. He's not going to leave. You're not going to do that. No. Just tell him no and explain why. I said no. Plenty of times. And guess what? They had an option to leave. Okay? And they tried. They tried. And I get tried. Y'all know I do. I get tried, okay? But not always in my primary relationship. This is someone maybe I'm dating in the beginning stages and they're just popping off with different questions just to see what my sexual limitations is in a relationship. Do you do anal? Do you do this? You know? Can I bring dog, cat, this, that? You know, my cousin, my sister, this, this, and that. Can I stay tonight? And they ask you all these whole series of questions just to see. And some men, they will mold themselves. They'll make a little Play-Doh replica of themselves just for you that representative they'll become that little chocolate little replica of themselves and then when they melt that little all those layers and this is what left that little doo-doo that little shit pile of him that he was hiding from you that little core that he was hiding from you this is what's really is this is him this is his, this is what he exists of some shit that you don't want to deal with but he will cover himself up so you know tasty and yummy and inviting he will invent himself just for you but if he really and truly cares about you, you not doing anal, you not doing any threesomes, will be a-okay with him. Because you can bring in the relationship or whatever you want to call what you got going on, situation or whatever you can bring to the, this, proverbial, this proverbial table. You bring other things, your personality, your support, okay? And honey, you might be able to bring some 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 money in together, y'all doing things together, make some businesses together. So that may outweigh the fact of certain things you don't do in the bedroom. If he really and truly likes, he cares for you, he loves you, or he wants to love you in a way, he all that stuff won't matter is what I'm saying. I am signing off, okay? I'm going into 19 minutes. This has been another It's Not Easy Being Dream vlog. I am Miss Atlantic Dream from MissAtlanticDream.com. I am about to sip my chai tea, baby, I, and, and help, help my throat get better, my throat. I hope it gets a lot better. So thank you for your prayers and your nice post on my Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your views on my 90-day um, Being a Better You challenge as well. If you haven't joined, make sure you join my Facebook. I am Thick Dream, Yvette Johnson, which is Facebook.com, MS period, Atlanta Thick Dream. Make sure you send me a friend request or click follow if I don't get a chance to add you on my page. So love and light and peace and blessings unto you. Remember what I said, just because we in the A don't mean we, you know, giving it up, giving it all up because we in the A, okay? I'm sexy and I'm sacred and I'm like, I'm not giving it up like how you think, boo, okay? So don't put people in the box just because they live in Atlanta. And also a lot of these ladies I know personally are outsourcing, okay? Getting some outsource dig, meaning they are going to Tennessee, getting men in behind bars that are from here. Or that are from here and that are willing to take them. Or they're going to Cali to get some of that Cali and bring it here to the A. So fellas here in A, y'all better get it together. Get it together because the ladies are not playing. They're not having that. Yeah, there's some ladies that will have that and they'll do all that and then some. Hmm. Are you wifing her though? Is that a long-term mate or just something temporary that's all you're concerned with? For me, I like a man who is aligned. Mind, heart, and his genitals. So come correct or don't come at all.
Bye.